Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 9 for our PCNSA series. So as we have already understood how to basically log into a firewall, how to do an initial configuration, how to take a backup and all those things. So now let's move into the core part of the firewall and we'll understand few of the basic things and then we'll move on to the practical of our technologies, right? So in this video, we are going to understand what is segmentation, what is zone and why we need the zones, right? What are the type of zone that is available and that we can configure in Palo Alto Firewall? What is interface and what are the type of interfaces? As I have already explained you guys that um, Palo Alto Firewall is a very flexible firewall. You can, it can accommodate it in any kind of environment. So let's understand how we can do that so with the help of this topic we'll try to understand those so i'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end because it's a beginning of our core technology about the firewall and it is very basic guys so please try and watch till then so that it will be helpful understanding palo alto firewall it will also helpful in your interviews and also it will be really helpful in your real world environment and also i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any video from me so without any further delay let's get started so friends let's understand what is segmentation okay with the help of this image we'll try to understand this network segmentation is very much important to have the boundary, right? So if you see here in this image, we have guest Wi-Fi, we have general network, we have PCI network, we have IoT network. So every segmentation has different, different targeted. So for an example, let's say Wi-Fi users, they will connect to internet through this guest Wi-Fi and they'll access the internet. Now, accessing through the guest Wi-Fi will have some restrictions, right? Same way, the general internet will have normally open to all internet. If I talk about, let's say, if this guest Wi-Fi can access this PCI network, no, they should not be. The guest Wi-Fi can access the internal network, no, they should not be accessing those internal server or internal database, right? So we have some target, that is the reason we create those segmentation, right? Now for an example, you have data center. Now why we have created a data, data center? Because we want to host an application over there or we want to provide a internet breakout from there or there should be some target to create that particular data center where we are storing the data or hosting the application or something. Same way we have a branch. When, when we create branch, what is the reason of creating that branch? Same way network segmentation is very much needed because we'll set a target or we'll create some kind of uh, target for that particular zone that this zone can go to internet, what he can access, what are the things he can do inside the network. So we will be creating some kind of boundaries when we create a network segmentation. Now, why we are learning all these things? Okay, let's understand further in this. So friends, now we'll understand what is zone and why we need it. Segmentation, why I've explained the segmentation because I can correlate the segmentation with zone, right? With the help of this image, we'll try to understand. Now the segmentation can correlate with the security zones. Because let's say when we create a zone in firewall, if I say it's a B2B zone, it's a accounting zone or it's a PCI zone, external zone, internet zone. So if I say, let's say if I say internet zone, internet zone meaning that the traffic which is coming from internet or going to that particular zone. So what kind of traffic I need to filter? So if the traffic is coming from inside, if I say inside, meaning that the traffic is coming from my internal network. So what kind of traffic 
I am expecting from that particular zone. So I have some of the information in my mind that the inside traffic should look like this. And the thing is why we are creating this zone because let's say for an example for our inside interface or inside zone. Okay. We have multiple interface. Okay. And we can basically combine them and put it in single zone. And when we create a security policy, the security policy will be applicable to both the interfaces. I cannot have two, one, two, three, four, five multiple interface I can have. It's not only two. I can have multiple interfaces. Okay. So what I'm trying to say is when you say security zone, security zone can be considered as a network segmentation. Now the network segmentation, if I say at layer two, it's VLAN at layer three, we have different networks, but at the label of firewall, we can consider as a zone. So that is the reason zone is kind of a segmentation in firewall. And when we define the particular zone, we will have some target that these traffic should be going to this or this traffic should not be going to this. Right? So that is the reason zones are very much needed. Now security zone groups devices use a similar security need. Security zone often align to segmentation because when you create a segmentation because you are creating some target like in the VLAN as well, you will create marketing VLAN, sales VLAN. Same way we can also create sales zone, marketing zone and we will be providing. So for an example, marketing guys, they'll ha have access to the social media because they want to market themselves, right? Same way if I give access to HR zone, so I'll be giving access to the LinkedIn knockery because they need to find a resources for the company, right? So every segmentation has different need. So we will be doing at the level of firewall as a security zone. Okay. So friends, let's understand what is an interface. Okay. With the help of this diagram, we'll try to understand. Now you can see there are multiple devices over here and they are connected to each other. Without that particular interface, we will not be able to connect one device to another device. So interface is useful to connect one device to another device. Okay. So friends, now we'll understand what are the types of zones that is available or which we can configure and what are the interface type which is available and configured in Palo Alto firewall. Okay. With the help of this image, we'll try to understand. Okay. Now, as you can see, there are tap interface zone, <clears throat> LAN to interface and zone. There are virtual wire and zone. There are tunnel zone and there are layer three zones, right? Every zone has different features, different limitations. And each of the zones will be suitable for different kind of environment. Okay. So for an example, if you are expecting a traffic in Palo Alto firewall from layer two, okay. So let's say if the switch is basically forwarding the traffic, so you are expecting what kind of traffic layer two traffic, right? So you can create that particular interface as layer two. And when you define layer two interface, the zone has to be that kind, right? It should not be different. Let's say if you have a zone, which is layer three and you cannot assign layer two interface type. It is not possible because it will be expecting a different kind of traffic and you are uh, defining a different zone and different interface. Right. So it will not match. And in that case, it will not work properly. Right. So basically you will not be able to assign it for the first thing. Okay. Now I'll be talking about all this interface type and the zone in a 
separate separate video for tap i'll be creating a separate video for v wire will be creating a separate video and i'll be covering in a very deep or where we can use that particular interface zone what is the use of it where what is the best scenario where we can uh, choose those interfaces option but there are more options which is available which i cannot cover but i'll try my uh, uh, whatever i know or whatever i have experience i'll be sharing with you guys okay so this is all about the zones guys and interfaces this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you have increased your knowledge or you have got to know something new please hit the like button okay it will basically motivate me to create more videos something like this and also if you have any suggestion related to my video or if you have any such scenario that you have faced related to tab zone or interface zone please put it on the comment or you can put it on the instagram message or facebook message or you can send me a mail if you are facing any kind of issue you need any kind of solution for a faster resolution okay thank you so much for watching this video till then thank you so much and i will see you in the next